masterpiece, born of pedigree. It's all, you know, it all started with a vision to create an SUV that would rise above all, dynamic, bold, the young achiever's ambition. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what the Harrier is all about. So let's take a look. A journey that began in 2018 that led to the birth of an SUV that reset the rules of driving. A legendary name revealed, Tata Harrier, in 2018. Proudly launched the iconic brand in 2019, proclaiming that it is indeed born of pedigree. 2019 saw the launch of the suave and sexy Harrier Dark, which redefined the meaning of being bold. The ride got wilder with the new Tata Harrier Kaziranga Edition. 2023 brought with it a Red Hot Dark Edition that captured the youth's imagination. Finally bringing us to the biggest milestone in our journey, a brand new Tata Harrier on the horizon. A car for the young guns of the nation. The youth of India out on the battlefield. A new breed of warriors are taking over. Those that are fearless enough to change the odds in their favor. Those who believe that life itself is a big adventure. Those who aren't afraid of the dark, but embrace it like their own. It's time to make way for the new Harrier. Well, I think that applause can be a little louder because it's fascinating and unbeatable. Standing tall, elevating the game, guiding us to soar above all. Harrier, like we all know, is one of the most aspired for and sought after Indian SUV brands. And to see it in its all new avatar is going to be a spectacle. Ladies and gentlemen, Without further ado, let's begin the launch segment of the all-new Harrier. Let me call upon the stage a passionate marketeer and a car enthusiast, Vinay Pant, head of marketing, Tata Motors um, Passenger Vehicles Limited, to talk about the vision and philosophy behind the all-new Harrier and how it translates ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause and welcome Vinay. <laughs> Good evening, dear friends from the media. On behalf of Tata Motors, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. Thank you for taking time and being with us on this momentous occasion of the unveil of the new Harrier. The Harrier, as we all know, has been instrumental not just in establishing the high SUV segment, but raising the bar for the segment ever since it was introduced. In 2009, when we introduced the Harrier, it pushed the envelope on every front in the category, from aesthetics to comfort to performance. It became the path-breaking product, path-breaking in its aesthetics and road presence, in the standard of comfort, in its tech advancement, in its performance, and also the safety. Not just that, the Harrier represented the ambition and drive of the new young Indian. This generation craves for more, aims higher, and believes in pushing boundaries to the max. Harrier soon became the most sought after SUV that the young achievers saw themselves driving. In keeping with the ever rising hunger for higher and better, we continually introduced interventions that were first in the industry and always resonated with the customer. Thus, the idea of power and ambition was developed in different editions of the Harrier. With Kaziranga and Camo, it showed the wild, untamed side of power. With Dark, it showed understated, firm power. With Red Dark, it showed a bold, gutsy side of power. The Harrier quickly established itself as the SUV preferred and much loved by the young achievers. Its resounding success evident in it having crossed the one lakh mark. And today, we start a new chapter in this journey. We 
let's look at the cusps, at the motivations that the carrier appeals to. So our customers are the ones who are always aiming to be better than the best. They are supremely confident of themselves. They have a driven, optimistic, and ambitious frame of mind. Succinctly put, their mantra is, success is mine, and I shall get it. Their ambition is always to reach the very top, to make their own name, create their own kingdom, gunning for beyond the ordinary. It's not just about the promotion, but the corner office. Not just about having a business idea, but dreaming of a unicorn startup. Not just seeing a title, but to make an impact. So when it comes to their car, they are seeking a symbol that mirrors their rising status and dominance. Hence, when so much is at stake, it is a path paved with challenges. And when you're moving with a high ambition, you're always ready to take on the challenges as a fighter. Therefore, the mindset of the Harrier owner wants to reflect is the warrior's mindset. The warrior comes alive when the vigor to achieve meets the determination and the drive. The new Harrier has been conceptualized, keeping in mind the warrior in you. Now, warriors are of many kinds. We have identified four distinct warrior mindsets. The first is a fearless one. It is those who are bold, bold enough to, to be, bold enough to say, bold enough to express who they are. They are never shy of their instincts, and they are never afraid to stand out either. The second are the adventurous kind. For them, thrill is a way of life. Any and every kind of journey they take, they seek ways to make it exciting, exhilarating. For the adventurous warrior, life can never be boring or mundane or routine. And then there are those who value substance over thrill. We call them pure. They feel the utility of an object is the most beautiful aspect of it. Things should be what they are made for, without adulteration of any kind. Minimalism to them is the key. And the fourth cohort are the ones who are pragmatic, the smart profile. They take pride in maximizing. They prefer making efficient but sensible choices. Even when it comes to their dreams, these are the ones taking a regimented, calculated approach, the smart ones. And there's more, the dark edition, an industry first phenomena, revolutionizing the way SUVs are seen, not just as feats of rugged engineering, but as a slick statement of style and power. We have the Harrier in our legendary dark edition. It should continue to make a statement of unmistakable authority and power. So there you have the new, dark, the new Harrier for the warrior in you. Now let's see how the new Harrier fits seamlessly into the lives of these relentless, unwavering wa warriors in the quest for dominance and supremacy. How its exterior design helps you rule with the road presence. How its interiors provide that premium and luxury feeling. How its advanced tech surpasses everything else in the category. And how the new Harrier is the one of the safest car to be in. Coming to the real deal, the car. Now is the time to see how the warrior philosophy and the four sensibilities translate into the new Harrier. Let us show you how the Harrier delivers on the different facets of custom expectations. This part will be now taken over by Martin and Mohan. Thank you for your patience listening and over to Martin. Let's give a big round, big round of applause. Come on, everybody. We can do better than that. Thank you, Vinay. That was really impressive. The highlights for me were your entire philosophy of representing the ambitious nature of today's young achievers, capturing the essence of it in the warrior's philosophy. I agree the young achievers are nothing but warriors for their dreams. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited to see how this philosophy translates into 
the design. Well, well, well. It's time for me to wel welcome on the stage Martin Ularic, Head of Global Design at Tata Motors. Martin will show us the inspiration behind the style and substance that form the fascinating and unbeatable new Harrier. Please give him a big round of applause. Hello. So hello everybody. Um, I'm going to be driving you through the whole design development and the rationale behind the new Harrier design. When we started this program, uh, as Vinay explained, the Harrier is already a proven recipe, a proven uh, formula that works. It has been extremely successful. It has given us a foothold in the market for what this sort of SUV character is and does. So as a straightforward facelift and an improvement, how do we enhance this, this thing? So a little bit behind the design process of how we develop it. Uh, a designer's job is the first is to understand the shape, the, the overall form, the 3D aspect of this, is this vehicle. That's a very straightforward. When you're designing an exterior, it is the first thing that anybody judges. It's the proportion, the stance, the presence of, of, of a vehicle. Then, of course, you create the space. From an interior point of view, you are analyzing how the ergonomics work, what is the feeling of ambience and atmosphere, and how all of those factors come together, whether it's technology, comfort, and, and all of the materials and technology as it seamlessly comes together. Of course, surface is another aspect, whether it's exterior or interior design. When you're designing a 3D surface, an object, great care and craftsmanship goes into the design development. Uh, people really underestimate the amount of work that goes into creating good surfaces, not just the volume, but how the reflections work on a, on a body side, how the, the car interacts with the lightness and the darkness and the changing landscape. And of course, in an interior, it's all about the material quality and how that, is, how that material quality then is translated to the customer in themselves. And of course, the fourth dimension is the interface. This is a, a, an, in many ways a new development in the design sphere. Uh, it's not just a, a 3D object, uh, one that you see or you interface with, but it's now obviously an ecosystem. It's, it's no longer just the UX UI on the screens, but it's the UX UI of how you interact with the product itself right from the visual aspect, but the how you engage with the product as a customer. So those four dimensions really help define how the design development comes across. That's applicable to any program, any product. And of course, here you see a side view of the, of the new Harrier. And it, it was the sketch that really captured the essence of what we wanted to, to do. The Harrier has this sort of high-tech feeling SUV. And of course, we wanted that to be translated to the new aspects of it. So even though the side view is essentially the core of the vehicle, the new front and the new rear have to integrate seamlessly with the existing parts. And of course, when you're creating this sort of dynamic proportions, it all has to communicate, like I said, holistically, the front and the rear, all of it coming together very nicely. So it always starts with a sketch. In the design department, to be honest, in many ways, it's social science, it's not rocket science. You have to really understand the customer and who you're designing for, what is the character of the product, and that can be instilled really simply in a magic sketch. Of course, the design team does a number of them, sometimes up to 100 potentially sketches, but it's always that one that stands out and it captures the imagination of what we're trying to prove. Once you have that vision, you have to then translate that into, into actual detailing. Of course, with the front being one of the areas where you're really starting to the, make a, a statement with the new Harrier, the lighting sequence is the key. The new LED lamps, the new light guide, all of that, consistent, of course, with what we've just launched on the, uh, on the Nexon and the Nexon.ev, that consistency is the brand message. And of course, that's all augmented with the upper grill. The, the Harrier has a very distinct architecture from the front end. Uh, it is, in fact, if you look at the old Harrier, it, it is a split grill. There is an upper and a lower grill, more or less being 50-50 in aspect ratio. That underlines the sort of sportiness, the dynamicness, and of course the sort of adventure capability of what this SUV is. And of course the detailing is really the key. So this sort of parametric grill, that's what we call it in design, 
or this sort of digital signature drill, it has in effect replaced what you would call the traditional chrome aspect. It's the jewelry that adds the quality to the positioning of this vehicle, but at the same time communicates that this is a very modern product and not a very classical product. So then we also took that philosophy to the rear. So if you look at the lights, the lights are now joined in a very broad horizontal light guide. And of course the lights have to capture that dynamic character. They're not static, they're not uh, passive. They, they capture the essence of what the Harrier really does want to communicate. And all of this together, like you can see here from these sketches, whether they're the front or the rear, uh, and of course how that all integrates, you can see this clay model that we created in our design studio, all of that has to marry very naturally, like I said originally, holistically with the existing areas and look like it was the intention right from the beginning, that it's a completely new car, when in fact it's a very strategic uh, intervention. Of course, like with all of our products, efficiency is the key aspect. So you'll notice there are actually see-through air curtains on the Harrier. And uh, these underline what I would say is the main design philosophy, which is form follows function. To be honest, the, the air curtain positioning was given to us by the aerodynamics team. And of course, design then works in collaboration with engineering and aerodynamics to create a design which is not only efficient, but at the same time, attractive. And so, when all of this comes together, the next dimension is once you have the 3D aspect, is the emotional aspect. As we said, we, we have now the persona strategy. And for us, the fearless persona best captures the imagination and the character of what the Harrier is. It is a fearless product. It was a pioneer product. And at the same time, it really represents that sort of customer demographic of who's buying this, these achievers, these overachievers, these people who are striving for excellence, they are pushing themselves to the limit. And in many ways, the car is the one that has to communicate that as well. So if you see that, and you also translate that to the interior philosophy, uh, it all comes together very naturally. With the interior, again, we focused on where the eyesight lines are. So all of the um, efforts and all of the change aspects were done literally in your sight lines, which is the instrument panel and the center console and so forth. So again, as we explained with our previous new products, the digitization of the cockpit is really the, the fundamental driving force of how you create a upmarket, digital, progressive uh, design language. And of course, we want to emphasize the positioning of this car by making all of the lines horizontal and then finesse that with fine details. So if you look at the design sketches and the development, the exterior and the interior marry naturally. All the lines are angled or horizontal. They're very consistent, even subconsciously. So when you sit in the car or you see it from outside, there is a, a natural sort of symmetry between the exterior and the interior. Of course, all of this then, again, communicates the sort of positioning of the product, whether it's the technology, whether it's the attention to detail, the craftsmanship that goes into the IP, the materials, the stitching, every little radius has been uh, interrogated to create something that's very fine. And of course, we have the, now the, our signature backlit steering wheel that we introduced on the Nexon. But now what we're doing is we're introducing it as a four-spoke steering wheel. That again, reflects the positioning of what the Harrier is in the market. And so, even that extension of the fearless persona then goes to the digital spheres and all of the, the landscape in the UX and the UI. <clears throat> of course, the hashtag dark and all of the uh, special editions and the new forever lineup have always been intended to be part of the new Harrier DNA. So as we introduce the personas, we've got a couple of signature ones that are unique to the Harrier that also reflect the, the product and its overall character. There is the adventurous persona, which is, I would say, underlined by a very distinct uh, color, which we're calling seaweed green. This, again, underlines the sort of uh, capability of the SUV-ness of what the Harrier really is capable of doing. This uh, persona not only translates to an exterior color, but into a very fine and adventurous interior combination that looks premium, but at the same time capable. Of course, then we have the pure persona. This one really communicates a sort of simple state, 
uh, peace of mind lifestyle, a very pragmatic and at the same time a very design focused uh, color palette. Uh, I have to say the car looks brilliant in this pure gray exterior color. And of course that also is uh, translated into a very sophisticated interior which is not too flashy but at the same time really has a, a fantastic quality feel. We have other colors of course in the persona which are our sort of uh, common, common colors. Everything from a, a very, I would say, conservative gray to then, of course, the, uh, the dynamic reds. And of course, we also have the whites. So the car has to work in every single persona, in every single color, and has to communicate all of the values and all of the personality that our design wants to, wants to communicate. And overall, all of this is captured in the, uh, in the overall design, which you'll see soon enough. So now what I'll do is I'll introduce Mohan to the stage and he'll explain uh, the technical details of how we develop this program. Thank you. Thank you, Martin, for throwing light upon the design journey of the new Harrier and how this is truly going to elevate the game on design. It is truly fascinating to witness how philosophy translates into the design of the new Harrier and how each persona is elevated in its own way. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to invite on stage the brilliant mind behind the Tata Motors lineup you've witnessed. And believe me, this is going to be really special. Truly passionate about automobiles and an absolute perfectionist with meticulous detail is what makes him the brilliant mind he is. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands and welcome Mohan Sawarkar, Chief Product Officer. Give him a big round of applause. <laughs> And uh, thank you, Martin. Uh, so members of the media, welcome to this event for the launch of Harrier. Uh, it's going to be a great evening and an even better drive tomorrow. So let me speak of a journey. The journey that began with the iconic H5X launch at the Auto Expo in 2018. And the one that reset the rules of driving. To witnessing a legendary name reveal, the Tata Harrier and proudly proclaimed that it was indeed born of pedigree. Our journey with the Tata Harrier has been an exhilarating one. When we embarked on the mission to rebrand and elevate this iconic vehicle, we envisioned a dynamic, sporty, and a kinetic masterpiece. Get ready to be introduced to the Harrier in its brand new avatar, sporting a new and majestic design. The exteriors feature end-to-end -end DRLs in the front, which are standard across variants, with a signature welcome and goodbye animation, depicting the vehicle's unique, sporty, and dominant character. The exclusive Harrier mascot signifies its unique identity. The stylish 18-inch alloys with aero inserts that Martin spoke about also help reduce drag and ensure the Harrier is dressed up for every occasion. The majestic sunroof responds to your voice in addition to activation through dedicated buttons. The first-in-class digital steering wheel features an illuminated T logo. The Harrier comes with electric power-assisted steering. Steering feel comes in two modes, cleverly mated to powertrain modes. A regular steering mode is paired with city and eco powertrain modes. In the sports mode, however, both steering and powertrain kick in together, delivering an exhilarating driving experience. The youthful three-tone dashboard communicates the premium and yet contemporary design with state-of-the-art digital cockpit with multicolor mood lighting. Let's look at some of the in-vogue technologies in the car. The new Harrier boasts of a 31-centimeter infotainment system by Harman that exudes low latency, high response, high contrast ratio for better legibility in very light conditions and with a sleek presence. It also comes with a configurable 26-centimeter fully TFT instrument cluster with 
first in class full map view when you're using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. The blind view monitor from the Adash suite, which shows areas that are not visible due to obstructions while turning, is cleverly placed in the infotainment, ensures we always retain full map functionality in the cluster. These screens, plus the 360-degree surround view camera, the blind view monitor, are not controlled by individual ECUs, but by a cockpit domain controller, enabling seamless interchange of information between them. The new connected vehicle technology with IRA 2.0 offers 50 plus connected and safety features, which can be controlled through your phone or smartwatch. A remote engine start stop, also controllable on your key fob, remote AC, remote lights, and a host of commands that your connected car will obey for you. And all of it is designed for the Indian customer. We like bucking the trend to achieve something extraordinary. The Harrier features a Harman Audio Works package with 13 unique audio modes. This Audio Works package is not just first of its kind in India, but also first in the world. Do experience it tomorrow when you drive the cars. The carefully crafted audio experience with 10 speakers with an external subwoofer with a bespoke tuning for each individual seat in the first and second row takes this audio package into the next generation of oral experience. It mesmerizes you beyond anything you've experienced before. We are proud to introduce the Alexa car to home feature for connected home functionality. And we have an experience center just outside. Do make sure that you go and have a look at it. We also have four independent voice assistants like Alexa, Siri, Google, and our own native voice commands, which support more than 250 plus commands in six languages, enhancing the connected car experience. The infotainment supports wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Let's now see the elevated performance and drivability aspects of the new Harrier. We up the sporty quotient of Harrier with pedal shifters and a first-in-class B-Jewel terrain mode selector with a TFT screen to complete the dominant character. The new Harrier comes with a powerful two-liter cryotic diesel engine which is in use globally across many products and for many years and has demonstrated history of superior performance across Indian geographies and proudly made in India. Mated with a proven six-speed automatic and a manual transmission, this power pack delivers a robust performance that befits only the best. To ensure our car can cater to drivers' driving styles of our customers, we offer three modes eco, city, and sport, each with a different software map, complementing one's driving style. We bring in segment-first shift-by-wire, e-shift monostable shifter, typically found in luxury cars. Ease of use, premium feel, lightning-fast response times, and unique design makes this monostable shifter stand out from the rest. All this encapsulates a superior choice which embeds elegance and opulence into a conventionally mechanical operation. Now coming to premium comfort. Well, everyone in the family has their own preference for climate control. Someone likes it hot, someone likes it cold. So to cater to this, we have a first-in-class voice control, dual zone, fully automatic temperature control, which will appeal to our tech-savvy consumers. The gesture-controlled power tailgate lets you hold on to your shopping bags while opening the tailgate. Ventilated seats with memory and welcome function, comfort headrest and rear door sunshades puts the convenience of our customers above all else. To enhance ease of parking, we offer first-in-class front parking sensors. Also present is a wireless charger and two 45-watt C-type fast chargers to keep you powered up on the go. The air purifier with the AQI display ensures clean air throughout your drive. Now let's see how we provide cocoon safety. Well, we have retained the gift from one legend to another. The new Harrier 
constructed upon the robust Omega Arc architecture, a derivation of the Land Rover renowned D8 platform. To add to that, we have now got seven airbags, with six of them being standard across all variants. Again, another first in class. This reinforces our commitment to your and you for family safety. We have strengthened the ADAS suite by adding overspeed assist and adaptive cruise control that includes stop and go, overtaking assist, and cornering assist. The stop and go also prompts you to resume the function in case the wait is more than three seconds, taking care of one more unique Indian use case of people crossing the road in front of you unexpectedly. By the way, lateral assist features would be made available to all cars in due course of time. Advanced ESP with 17 functionalities, with front and rear parking assist and tire pressure monitoring system ensures you're in control always. Concluding with some more first-in-class features, we offer auto-dimming IRVM and three-point ELR seat belts with load cell-based reminders for all occupants. Our connected technology ensures you are just a touch away from immediate assistance with our e-call and b-call functionality. Now let's see the features available across our four personas for a moment. It's, it's a data point that you already have, but let's have a look at it once again. And I'll leave it on for a few seconds. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, uh, now that we have seen the incredible work that went into crafting the new Harrier, it's evident that we have paid close attention to every little detail and everything was designed with precision. So go ahead and enjoy that which is born of pedigree. Thank you. Actor ready? Yes, yes, he's stepping out now. He'll be able to pull this off, right? There is a single, indisputable choice. Being fearless. Action. is in every touch, every feature. A seamless blend of sophistication and power. The power to do right is what makes you fearless. Life is an adventure, facing it head on is what sets you apart.
It's the simple things that bring pure joy. us to make smart choices. and the mighty forever stand as guardians. of this journey. The power to redefine every world, every moment. The all-new Tata Harrier. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big round of applause. This is absolutely fantastic. It's 
the new Harrier in all its glory. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And may I request Vinay, Mohan, and Martin to kindly join in for a photo op. Let's give a big round of applause. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic, isn't it? The new Harrier in all its glory looks like a piece of art and I think you need to give a big round of applause for this. Come on, everybody. Fantastic. Whoa. What a beauty it is. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us on the stage. And uh, wow. I, I see the smiles on your faces and I'm sure you all are as excited as I am and and everybody out here, and this is, this is something which I really would love to own, and the whole of the country would love to own these, this piece of art. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for me to reiterate on the embargo timelines. The embargo lifts at 4 p.m. on Saturday, October 14th, for the new Tata Harrier, and at 4 p.m. on Sunday, October 15th, for the new Tata Safari across any and all platforms connected to you, or the esteemed media house you represent. Partner publications and syndicated content tie-ups that you or your publication may have. Ladies and gentlemen, the detailed guidelines have been shared with you on the WhatsApp groups as well. Please feel free to post static pictures along with product details without stating your opinion. So there you are. What a session this has been. It's been absolutely special. So we loved it. It's time for the next segment of this exciting evening, the launch of the new Safari. Well, 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 you know what? The Safari is truly a legend that started the SUV revolution in the country. Over the years, it has helped you reclaim your life. It was and is the benchmark of success and a celebration of a successful life. It's embodiment of the spirit of freedom. That's what the Safari is all about. Let's take a look at the wonderful journey of the safari. When your spirit longed for respite from a mundane life, it awoke the legend to help you reclaim your life. It was Lux. It was free. Celebrating going beyond the creeds. A sight for sore eyes. The dark night was untamed outright. Safety, a class apart, took form of a red dark avatar. Powering the Nari behind Safari, it went long. Now, at the dawn's break, where you belong. Seize the day. Free from strife. Break free. Tata Safari, reclaim your life. We all know that the Safari... Yeah, you can applaud. Come on, everybody. You know, we all know that the Safari is the most iconic SUV brand of India. And today, we get to see it in its all-new avatar. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Let me call back upon the stage Vinay to take us through the exceptional journey of Tata Safari and its role in helping us reclaim our lives. Give a big round of applause for Vinay. Come on, everybody. 
Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. We sincerely hope you liked what you saw till now. I welcome you to the most anticipated unveil of the evening. Before I take you through the details of the new safari, allow me to share with you the philosophy and the thought behind the creation of this iconic brand. Tata Safari is truly a legend, a legend which sparked the SUV revolution in India. Since its launch in 1998, the Safari has consistently embodied su success, leaving an enduring impression of what a genuine SUV should be. It has charted the course of SUV design across the country and established itself as a globally recognized brand. When SUVs were a symbol of power and authority, Safari became the symbol of freedom. The celebrated reclaim your life philosophy appealed to get in touch with who you really are, experience a free, more authentic, and a more fulfilling life. Even the communication over the years has inspired people to not let their lives be governed by set societal rules, but to follow their heart. Safari and its call for freedom made it an iconic brand that drew love, aspiration, and admiration alike. The Tata Safari was crafted for individuals who are successful and evolved. The Reclaim Your Life philosophy resonated strongly with those who made their own decisions and steered their own life's paths. The new Safari customer is also someone who is highly comfortable with his success and equally enjoys the finer things in life. He is spontaneous and enjoys his streaks of adventure. At the same time, he also believes in spending time with family and friends. Beyond just success orientation, the Safari audience at the top of the pedestal and are mature and sophisticated, indulgent and refined in their tastes, socially active and treasure time with family and friends, nurture the streak of adventure. The 2021 Safari rekindled the free spirit of Safari through an interpretation of freedom relevant to its present target audience. The Safari has evolved quite like its customers to not only carry forward the legacy, but also meet the expectations of the modern lifestyle that this new age customer has. Driven by our new forever philosophy, we have refreshed the Safari at regular intervals with higher benchmarks in design, technology, and features that we offer. Not just this, we set new expectations and keep the market, market throbbing with regular introductions of the theme-based editions like the hashtag dark, the Kaziranga, the jet edition, and the red dark edition, all of which received tremendous response and appreciation. While the other SUVs celebrated the individual, the Safari of 2021 celebrated the collective. It's a known fact that the brand must meet customer expectations. It was well understood that we had to come up with something that retains all that's quintessentially Safari, but it had to also exceed the expectations of the segment. To take the brand to an even higher plane, we delved into understanding the target audience of the Safari in detail. By understanding our customers, their dreams, the ambition, aspirations, so that we can drive the innovations which are relevant to them and make the brand Safari even more iconic. With these precise cohort studies, we uncovered some fascinating connections between the product and the audiences. We could thus classify the target audiences in specific personas which were defined with certain attributes. Take the accomplished persona, for example, visionaries with a penchant for exclusivity. They are marked by a strong sense of drive and future forward thinking. They also seek exclusivity and top tier experiences, valuing excellence and distinction in their pursuits. A fearless explorer. They are characterized by their courage, boldness, and thrill-seeking nature. They seek out euphoric experiences in their quest for excitement and discovery. 
The purist prefers substance over showmanship. The pure persona embodies a minimalistic philosophy seeking to simplify the complexities of modern day life. These individuals are pragmatic and balanced, valuing simplicity and efficiency. The pragmatic achiever, a discerning value-driven individual who prioritizes function over frills and seeks to maximize experiences. Such intricate observations were built into to conceptualize the new safari, a perfect match to the individual persona expectations. We derived that the safari customer deserves a grand arrival and the design elements to create an unmatched road presence. He deserves an enhanced sense of safety, not only for himself, but also for his family. The safari customer also likes to travel in superior comfort, and when it comes to technology, the personas in the TG demonstrated an undivided expectation of experience much, must be much above the specification. This way, we keep disrupting the market time and again, and set the agenda for others to follow our pioneering design, safety, features, and performance. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, Vinay, for the wonderful presentation. And it was really exciting to see the iconic SUV of India in its old new avatar. Safari has always been about the spirit of reclaiming one's life. And the new Safari takes this journey forward with its impeccable interpretation of the new SUV customers and designing a product that addresses the need of every customer type. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's invite Martin back on the stage to take us through the design journey of the new Safari. Please give it up for Martin. All right, so what's the difference between the Harrier and the Safari? To be honest, up to now, it's been fundamentally a name and the seating, five versus seven seats. Uh, when we started this program, we made a conscious effort that, as Vinay said, this is a brand. These are two very distinct personalities, two very distinct brands, more than a nameplate. And at the same time, we realize that actually the customers that are buying the two of them are actually quite distinguished and quite different. I think this picture actually best uh, captures what the uh, Safari is. For us, it's the flagship. It's the summit of our portfolio. And in many ways, it has to communicate that. It has the Safari name. It has that adventurous persona, that SUV character. It's an icon, and at the same time, it represents an aspiration that our customers uh, strive for. So when you're looking at it, of course, the side view silhouette immediately communicates that it's a seven-seater. But how do we communicate the other attributes, the other characters, uh, and make it distinguished? So of course, like all of the products now you've seen, there is a consistency, a brand uh, consistency, and at the same time, we've seen that with the Safari, there is actually a legacy. There is a DNA that we are developing as we go through it. So with the Harrier, and you've just seen the, uh, the, the new Harrier, it has taken the uh, Harrier DNA, the split grille, and developed it to a much more upmarket, a much more technical next level, the dual grille. But now with the Safari, we want to create something unique, uh, something that really communicates it. So as I said before, you know, there is the natural design process, there is shape, form follows function, there is the interior space, there is of course the surfacing and the interface. That, that recipe and that methodology applies always to whichever program you're doing. Uh, when it came to developing the Safari, we said we wanted to create the accomplished uh, experience. The persona was immediately mapped out and this was going to be the halo persona for accomplished, whether it was you could visualize you know, what a color could be, what the presence is, what the character of, of this person. The car has to be an avatar for, for this customer and really, really capture that spirit, whether it's even in the UX, the UI, the graphic design, the materials, and so forth. So all of it comes together. Of course, as I said before, the side view is recognizable immediately as a safari just by its, its very bold and, uh, and large silhouette. And of course, that translates immediately into a, a car that 
really communicates that stature. Um, it comes from the, the wheel design, which I have to say is one of my favorites that we've ever accomplished in the design studio. We previewed that on the, uh, the Sierra concept, and now we're actually translating that into a uh, production design. And of course, the whole front is the avatar for the safari. It is very upright. It's a very proud, uh, dominating front face, dominated by one single large grille with this parametric uh, surfacing. The difference between the Harrier and the Safari is, is very straightforward. All of the lines on the Safari are horizontal and vertical. There are almost no angles to its architecture. That really communicates the stability, that, that statementship, and of course that overall presence. That really communicates a flagship summit of, of what this car is in the portfolio. And of course, with the seven seat uh, silhouette, you also have a very upright rear, and that has to also communicate naturally with the front and the overall, the overall side. So all of the lines are running, like I said, vertically and horizontally, as opposed to the Harrier, where you'll notice that it's much more dynamic, much more sporty, and uh, much more kinetic. Of course, the, the front grille is really the, the signature of the new design. Uh, it is very large, it is very dominating, and at the same time, it's, it's a sheer sort of rock face, uh, which, which gives it that sense of presence. And of course, the other aspect is the quality, the attention to detail. One of my actually personal favorites on the front is this small little detail, this little signature where you see the safari name between the LED lamps and the fog lamps. Uh, it's like a tie clip when you have a, a three-piece suit. It just adds that little element of, uh, of quality and prestige to a product that is already has the SUV DNA and the capability. And of course, all of that detailing also communicates itself to the side. So even the little fluting on the side of the lamp, and again, you can see, as opposed to the Harrier, which is much more dynamic, this is all very stable, very much like a solid presence, uh, and again, communicating that robust flag flagmanship. And of course, the wheels. Uh, like I said, this is actually a real um, triumph, I think, for the design team, taking this design, which not only communicates strength uh, and a certain functionality, it looks like it's an engineered wheel, and at the same time, it looks attractive, which is actually what we always want to achieve, a pure sort of form follows function purity, and that really sort of, again, communicates this stability in the, the, what the safari is all about. And of course, going into the interior, it's the same recipe. Uh, a digital cockpit, this four-point steering wheel, which now basically anchors the, steer the overall interior, and, uh, and this sort of digital experience, this immersive digital experience. So it's all dominated by the large screen in the center, and of course the UX UI, which has been finessed to the, to the nth degree. And of course, then you have the personas, as Vinay explained. Um, we have you know, the smart, we have the adventurous, we have the uh, individual, uh, accomplished. All of the, all of the personas you know, really communicate, whether it's the color choices, but more importantly, the material choices. So the signature color, which uh, we're calling cosmic gold, again, really communicates that flagship feel. When you see it in person, when you see it in the daylight, it'll really, again, uh, accentuate what this car is all about. And the other aspect on the accomplished interior, which I think really brings it out, is not only is it a light interior, very prestigious, very premium, uh, but is the pinstriping uh, finisher on the passenger side. It's like a, it's like a fine suit. Again, it, it very much uh, consistent with that front end, the tie clip accent on the lights. All of this is, is really natural, all coming together. And again, it emphasizes what I always say, is the more horizontal, it makes a, a, a overall feeling of space, width, and at the same time, the overall proportions haven't changed at all from the, the previous one. And of course, then we have the other ones. We have the Supernova Copper, which is again, a really strong color. Uh, all of the colors really underline the personas, the character of the car. None of them are dull for lack of a better word. Even the mainstream product colors that we're offering, and even the, pro the colors you know, in the pure persona, all of them have character, have a real signature, and, uh, and are proud. So whether it's a sporty, adventurous experience, whether it's the pure gray experience, uh, again, very subtle, very discreet, but at the same time completely designed 
uh, something that you would be proud to, do, to drive and to experience, whether it's uh, the stardust, a much more sophisticated color, to the overall sapphire, which is our traditional blue color. All of these colors, even to the fundamental white, uh, communicate the flagship stature of what the safari is all about. So you can see with this co overall color palette uh, that it's a wide range and a wide variety that we're offering the customer. So all of these elements coming together uh, quite naturally uh, underline the character of the safari. I think this is now a very distinct product, uh, very distinct from its, uh, its brother, the Harrier, and at the same time uh, standing on its own feet as our flagship uh, product, the summit of our portfolio. Um, and I would say the last thing is uh, we've seen the car also in, uh, in our development in the design studio in its uh, hashtag dark, and it's extremely impressive. Obviously, this is a recipe now that we've seen the industry now all uh, getting on the bandwagon. But as a pioneer, it's still clearly the leader when you see it on this avatar. So that is the design development of the Safari. Like I said, you'll see it soon in person. And you'll also be able to compare it to the Harrier and see the, the, the dis differences between the two. Um, I think you'll be very impressed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Martin, for throwing light upon the design journey of the new Safari and how this is truly going to take the brand a few notches higher. Moving forward, I'd now like to invite on stage Mohan, who will share some fascinating insights about the new Safari and what we can expect from it. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mohan. Come on, everybody. <laughs> So once again, uh, thank you, Martin, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this Safari launch event for the media and the drive tomorrow. Hope you really have a great time. So Tata Safari is a legend which started the SUV revolution in India. The Safari has always exuded authenticity, which makes the difference between being popular and being legendary especially the Safari that was launched in the year 2021. It redefined premium SUV category with its impactful design and class-leading features. In line with our philosophy of new forever, the new Safari is even more premium, safer, and technologically advanced than it used to be. In the context of Tata Motors' flagship product, Safari is recognized as the embodiment of our customers' aspirations and contemporary digit-all capability, all captured in a grand design. A fresh front face with a parametric grille that Martin spoke about, created through advanced hot foiling technology, emphasizes luxury. This is a first in India. Body-colored foils carefully placed on the grille emphasize the novel and premium design. The exteriors feature end-to-end -end DRLs in the front, which are standard across variants with a signature welcome and goodbye animation, ensuring class and modern high-tech sophistication. The premium off-road stance is enhanced by a unique and sturdy wheel design sporting wide 19-inch tires. Alloy wheels are once again standard across variants. Overall dimensions have increased, including the wheel track, making it much more planted than ever before. First in class, dual toll color scheme with an exclusive Safari mascot adds to the opulent design, completing the unique exterior presence of the Safari. Complementing the front, the rear comes with end-to-end -end LED tail lamps as well, also standard across variants, blending high-tech details seamlessly all around the car. The welcome and goodbye animation in sync with the front make for a unique experience. Thoughtfully sculpted air curtains in the front, once again here, reduce drag and optimize airflow for superior aerodynamics. The interior is adorned with opulent Beneke Calico oyster white leatherette seats and get persona-based interior themes for that personal touch. Multicolor mood lighting uses a color palette which is bespoke for each persona 
ensuring that interior reflects personal preferences. The mood lights are also synced to music notes and system notifications. They adorn the dashboard, the door trims, the sunroof, the flow console, and deliver a carefully crafted visual experience. The Safari is an embodiment of our constant quest to keep safety at the forefront of our customers and their families. It's your safest bet. We have, retained, we have retained the gift from one legend to another, built on the robust Omega Arc architecture, a derivation of Land Rover's D8 platform, just like, the Harrier, just like the Harrier. The new Safari reinforces our commitment towards your and your family's safety. The Safari comes with a driver knee airbag in addition to six airbags, just like the Harrier, as standard, ensuring all passengers in three rows are kept safe. Also standard across variants is the ESP encompassing 17 functionalities. We also have height adjustable seat belts in the front, load set based seat reminders with three point ELR seat belts for all, and seat belt anchor pre tensioner for enhanced occupant safety. In the unfortunate event of an accident or a medical emergency or a scare on a lonely road, or requiring support to keep moving, our emergency assistance features are just a touch away. The e-call will automatically trigger emergency services like ambulance and police, as well as place a call to your emergency contact number. The breakdown call, of course, will help you connect for necessary assistance in case of a breakdown. The hill hold control also ensures that even in stop and go traffic on gradients, it is handled with ease. ADAS support is provided through the ADAS suite, delivering 12 features, including first-in-class rear radar functionality. We have strengthened the ADAS suite further by adding overspeed assist and adaptive cruise control that includes stop and go, overtaking assist, and cornering assist. The stop and go also prompts you to resume the function in case the wait is more than three seconds taking care of one more unique Indian use case where people may cross your car in front of you and you would have to react. Lateral assist features would be made available to all cars in due course of time. The new Safari enhances our promise of providing a delightful driving experience that will make the journey to reclaim your life even more enjoyable. The new Safari comes with a powerful two liter cryotech diesel engine which is in use globally across many products for many years and has demonstrated history of superior performance across Indian geographies and is proudly made in India. Mated with a proven six-speed automatic and manual transmission, this power pack delivers a robust performance that befits only the best. We bring segment-first shift-by-wire e-shift monostable shifter, typically found in luxury cars. Ease of use, premium feel, lightning fast response times, and unique design makes the monostable shifter stand out from the rest. The Safari comes equipped with the electric power assisted steering. Steering, wheel, steering feel once again comes in two modes that are cleverly mated to the powertrain modes. The regular steering mode is paired with city and eco powertrain modes. For the sports mode, however, both steering and powertrain kick in together, delivering an exhilarating driving experience. We also offer paddle shifters for you to be in control of your automatic transmission. Safari's terrain response modes enhance its go anywhere attitude, selectable through a dial with a TFT display, adding to the many segment first in Safari. The Safari provides technology appeal for a premium and connected experience. With a gesture controlled power tailgate, we say goodbye to heavy lifting. It comes with six adjustable opening height settings to cater to a wider demographic. Of course, just to be sure, we can operate it from multiple places. The car also comes activated through a key fob, a dedicated button on the central capacitive panel and a button on the tailgate itself. 
The new Safari offers latest tech features like the slick 31 centimeter infotainment system by Harman. And by the way, we have engineered it for low latency and high response, a higher contrast ratio for better legibility in varied light conditions and with a sleek presence. It also comes with a 26 centimeter fully configurable TFT instrument cluster. Uh, this feature, a uh, first in class, shows full map view when using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. We like bucking the trend to achieve something extraordinary. The Safari features a Harman AudioWorks package with 13 unique audio modes. The AudioWorks package is not just a first of its kind in India, but also a first in the world. Carefully crafted audio experience with 10 speakers with an external subwoofer, with bespoke tuning for each individual seat in the first and second row, takes this audio package into the next generation of oral experience. It mesmerizes you beyond anything you've experienced before. We continue to up the ante in our connectivity game. We are proud to introduce the Alexa car to home feature for connected home functionality. And by the way, we have an experience center just outside. We also have four independent voice assistants, Alexa, Siri, Google, and our own native voice commands, which support 250 plus commands in six languages, enhancing the connected car experience. The new connected vehicle technology with IRA 2.0 offers 50 plus connected and safety features, which can be controlled through your phone or smartwatch. Remote engine start stop, also controllable through key fob, remote AC, remote lights. We have a host of commands at your connected car will obey. All of it is designed for the Indian cons consumers. Finally, we invite you to step into the comfort zone where many firsts and many bests come together to offer an outstanding interior experience. Everyone in the family has their own preference for climate control, and to cater to this, we have a first-in-class voice-controlled dual zone, fully automatic temperature control with a capacitive touch panel, which will appeal to our tech-savvy consumers. On occasions when you want to be the boss in the back, we have an electric boss mode and the four-way powered, four powered co-driver seat, bringing convenience to your fingertips. As the only ones to offer ventilated seats even in the second row, in addition to the business class like comfort headdress and wide rear sunshade, we redefine what it means to be in comfortable luxury. Let's see all the features available across our four personas for a moment. And I'll hold the slide for a minute, although you may have seen this before. One more. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, the new safari. Go on and reclaim your life. Thank you.
Sun Sunday. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause for the smashing new safari. And a huge round of applause for Mr. Shailesh Chandra, Managing Director, Tata Motors Passenger Vehicles and Tata Passenger Electric Mobility. Please give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This is the moment we all have been waiting for and uh, may I request Winay, Martin and Mohan to join on the stage for a photo opportunity. Come on, everybody. A round of applause for them. Absolutely special. This looks magical. You know, we have a whole lot of people from the country who want to own this. And believe you me, it's a great vehicle to have. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, what an evening this has been. It's been a magical evening. And thank you very much, um, everyone, for being a part of this incredible journey. And we hope you all are as excited as we are about the smashing new Harrier and the new Safari. Let's get the Harrier back on the stage. 
All right, let's hear it for the Harrier. Come on. This is a piece of art. I love it. Incredible indeed.